Hello, everybody, and welcome to the full Kartra demo. Uh, my name is Elliot. I have created an account here that we're going to be walking through. It's got a bunch of assets I've created just to show you how cool Kartra is and all the neat things that you can do inside Kartra. So let's start out right out the gate with the most essential feature, which is tracking your leads. You can see exactly how your leads interact with every aspect of your business. And you can do that by clicking on their profile. So this is a profile I've created just with my own email. Everything is located right here inside their profile. Tabs for the list that they're on, the communications they've received, whether they've opened them, whether they're uh, part of a membership that you've created. You can even add them to a membership. So let's say you've created one. You could say, let's add them to this membership right here. You can click on log and you've got a full list of everything they've done since they signed up for the very first time. So you can actually go through and see this person filled out a form, they were subscribed to a list, they subscribed to a sequence, they got this email, they opened it, I just granted them this membership access, they got the email for the, uh, the membership login information, so you really get full views of every single one of your leads inside the lead area. This will help you customize your content for the customer, making of course more money for you, and helping your customer support team support the customer better. But in order to get your leads, obviously you're gonna need some forms. So let's go over to the forms area and we're going to click to create a new form right over here. Here is the form builder. Now there are a few different form types that I'd like to show you. One is embedded in the page. Next, you could create a button that when you press it, the, pop -up, the form pops up just like that. Uh, another slides out from the right-hand side. You got a little tab there. And then finally you have this one, which slides up from the bottom just like that. So you've got this little tab, but you know what, for, for this video, we're just going to do an embedded form. There are also a lot of templates available for each of these form types. So we're going to scroll through these and find something that I like. There's some here with uh, images. There's some here with video. Um, I don't think I need any video in mine. I think I'm going to go for something more simple. How about this one right here? Everything in here can be changed and edited. So I can say, uh, Instead of New York, I could say something like Chicago. Uh, I'm not doing it right now, but I can change these fields to include whatever information I'm requesting from the lead. Uh, I could request phone numbers, addresses, even custom fields with whatever information that I need from the customer. For now, I'm just going to change the color of this button to maybe, let's say, let's say an orange color. And to make it match, I want to do that with the Chicago word up here as well. I like how this looks. So I'm going to click on save and exit. Now that I'm done building this form, I can embed it on whatever page I'd like. Actually, let's, uh, speaking of pages, take a look at the page builder. Let's say I want to create a new page. Now there's a large number of templates available. There are squeeze pages, there are video sales pages, there's even things like legal pages, there's checkout pages, product launch pages. But in this case, I'm going to start from scratch. So here we have the page builder. There's nothing on the page yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up these sections and find a menu. That's what I want on the top. I wanna to find a menu. There's a lot of options here. Let me grab this one right here. So we've got a menu button bar here. Now all of these buttons can be edited so that I can link to whatever I'd like. I could add my own logo here, but for now I'm just gonna set up the structure of my page. So I'm gonna edit these things later. Next, I'm gonna go into the sections and I'm gonna find one of these hero section templates. Some have videos, some have featured images, some have cool little backgrounds. I think I'm gonna drag this one right here. This one looks good to me. We'll drag this in. And like everything else, I can change the text here. And I can change the color of these buttons. So let me change the color here. I want this to be maybe maybe more of a yellow color. We'll try that. Try that out for size. You know, maybe a little darker. It's, it's a little bit too bright, I think. We'll try that. Yeah, that works for me. Maybe I don't want this text here. Maybe I want this to be up, up at the top here. You know what? No, no, that doesn't work. Let, let me bring this back down. Let's just arrange that just however I'd like it to be. In fact, I might even bring this one down here. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Now down below this, I want to talk about the features my product has. So I'm going to find one of these feature sections. So I'm going to choose this one right here. We're going to do, do this one right here. 
some good icons in here and everything. And then I want some testimonials. I wanna be able to show that my product is well loved by other people. So I'm gonna grab a testimonial section. I think this one right here looks good. And to set it apart from the rest of the page, I'm gonna change the background color here. Finally, now that the customer knows what my product is and knows people like it, I need to be able to sell it. So I need a call to action is what I need. So what am I selling? What am I selling? I could say, let's see. Let me, let me say that I'm selling a, a DVD of some sort, some sort of DVD training. I'll pull that in right here. And, and I can link this product button to my product page. And make it a little bit more fun, we can say uh, take an effect and make it so that when the page loads, the, the button bounces a little bit. So I'll click on that. And the final step of my page is adding a footer. I want something in the bottom that talks about my company and gives people the opportunity to maybe share my page. So I definitely want one of these that has the social media icons in it, but something a little bit more simple than these up here. So probably this one. Sets it apart, stands out, and then I can edit my logo in here. Now I have a page built in just a couple of minutes and it's ready for me to polish it up, add my content. And when I'm done, I'll check that the page looks good on tablet and mobile view. Of course, all Karcher pages are mobile ready and mobile responsive. So check that out. Looks, looks pretty good in mobile too. And finally, I'm gonna click on publish. And I'm given the Karcher page link. Of course, I can edit this and choose one of the domains that I've set up previously. And then edit this URL right here. So I could say sales page. And now I've got a custom URL. Once I start getting traffic, Karcher is going to do all the tracking for me automatically. I can see what devices people are looking from, whether it's desktop or tablet or mobile, and see the percentage of people who are visiting, the number of goals I'm meeting, which is things like opt-in forms or purchases, and then also how much income I've earned through the page. Something else really cool is the engagement analytics. The engagement analytics let me see where people are looking at my page and at what point they stop scrolling. So I can not only see how many people have visited, but how many people have stayed for longer than 10 seconds, the average amount of time people stay on the page, and how far they scroll down that page. And it's this kind of tracking that makes the Kartra automations so special. Automations can be found everywhere, and you can create an automation rule for just about anything. This is gonna save you a lot of time because it's always working around the clock behind the scenes for you. Automations are basically if-then rules. If something happens, then Kartra will do something and you get to decide what those rules are. So let's open up an automation real quick. Let's see what we've got available. Uh, if they subscribe to a list, if they complete a sequence, if they visit a page. So let's say they visited a page, they visited my thank you page, and let's say that they have access to a membership. Then I want to add a tag to them. I could add a tag to them. I can refund order. I can give them points, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Let's say assign a tag. We'll assign a tag to them that says membership current member. We'll add that tag in there. And why not add them to a sequence while I'm at it? I'll subscribe them to a sequence, which is new subscribers. Send welcome email. So now I click save. And now I have this full automation with multiple rules added to it. Now, I told you about that lead scoring earlier. This is lead scoring. I have a couple of automations here that deal with lead scoring. First, if a lead subscribes to any of my lists, then they're given 10 points. If they earn 40 points, meaning if they sign up for four of my lists, then they get 40 points and I get to tag them as a VIP customer. That means I can follow up and send them exclusive offers or rewards for their engagement, getting them to keep buying more. But if you really want to fully automate your account, you want to look inside the sequences area. So let's take a look at the sequence that I built earlier. I've set up a starting rule here. A starting rule is what starts the sequence. This is a sort of a trigger like an automation. If something happens, then the sequence begins. So I've got a few of these available, opt-in forms, whether they get a tag, whether they've ordered a product, uh, whether they visited a page, um, or even a custom automation. So there's a lot of options here, but I've just chosen an opt-in form. If they fill out my form updates, then the sequence begins. The first step in the email is immediately they're going to get this welcome email. Three days later, they're going to get some more information. And then three days after that, 
They're going to get more info and an offer to purchase my product. After this, I'd like to send a follow-up email to people who did not purchase. So how do I figure that out? Well, I'm going to click and drag a split from the left-hand sidebar. I'd like to check this after 10 days. I'd like to give them 10 days to purchase my product before I decide to follow up. And here's the split conditions. This is the important part. I'm going to look for has purchased product. Then I can choose my product and click create. Now all I need to do is connect it to the previous email and anyone who purchases the product will be sent to the true side of this split. Anyone who does not purchase the product will be sent to the false side. This means I can drag a complete statement at the bottom here and connect it to the true side of the split. And then I can set a follow-up email underneath the false side of the split. This is looking a little messy, so I'm just going to tidy it up by clicking Arrange. And actually, I'd like to not overload my customers with too many emails, so I'm going to edit this email so that the recipients of this email isn't just anyone reaching this step, but it's anyone who has not opened the previous email. So now they'll get the first two emails, and if they don't open this email, they'll get this third email. Then it's going to wait 10 days for them to purchase, and if they do purchase, the sequence ends. And that kind of specificity with broadcasts is possible not just inside the sequence builder, but elsewhere in the platform. So we'll go to the broadcasts area. In this draft email I created, the recipients is everybody in my database, but I can really target the email to anybody on my list. I can choose specific lists, tags, subscription dates, custom fields that I may have added to my form, whether they've clicked on links, whether they've visited pages, whether they've played videos or whether they've completed a video, whether they've got a specific score, what their access levels are to memberships, whether they've clicked on specific links, whether or not they're affiliates, their level of engagement, which is a cool feature. You can check on whether they've purchased more than a certain number of products, whether they've joined a list in a specific amount of time, and whether or not they've logged into a membership or visited pages, all sorts of cool things. You can really specifically target your audience using Kartra. For now, I'm going to send this to everybody in my database. At the top, you can see I can do a split test, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do just a single email. And using our drag and drop system, I'm gonna create an email in just a few seconds. There are a lot of drag and drop templates here, a lot of options. Just like in the page builder, there are a lot of possibilities for what I can use to create an email. I think I'm gonna choose this one right here. I'm gonna create this header in, in a different color, make this background a little bit different. Ooh, right right here, that's, that's the color I'm going for here. And I don't really like this image, I'm gonna delete the whole thing. I'm going to replace it with a hero section. Well, let's find a hero section to add in here. I'm going to choose this one right here. And I'm going to change this button color. You can edit this button color to whatever color I want to choose. And actually, I'm going to go back and edit this again, and I'm going to add in a URL. Now I can edit the copy, but I'd like this copy to be a little bit more specific towards my customer. So I'm going to say for you, and then look up here at the dynamic variables, I've got first name. So if I add this in, then when this email is sent out, their name will be inserted into the email in their inbox. Now, if I like what I've got, I can save it as a template for later use. But before I send this, I'm gonna check how this looks on mobile phone. Like the pages, all Kartra emails are 100% mobile responsive. After adding a subject line, I arrive at an automations area. Like I said before, automations are everywhere in Kartra and the emails area, the broadcasts are no exception. So in this case, I can create an if rule of if they open the email, they don't open it, if they click a link, if they don't click on a link. So let's say they do not open the email within 72 hours, then I can give them a tag. And let's take a look at the tags that I've got didn't open. So I'm going to add this didn't open tag if they didn't open the email in 72 hours. This gives me yet another opportunity to do some follow-up work with those leads who aren't responding to what I'm sending. Let's take a look at the videos real quick. The video player has a lot of really flexible and cool options. First and foremost are the display options. You can embed the videos, 
and decide what size it's going to be or just let it fill up the frame that is put in. Or you could do a pop-up button, which can be customized however you choose. And if the look of the button isn't to your liking, then you can just upload an image of your own. But in my case, I'm going to just choose to embed the video. Next are the settings. You can choose a custom splash image. So you see that there's this still frame here. That's the splash image. I can use my own static image or an animated GIF in this case. I can upload a logo watermark to appear in the lower right corner. I can choose to display the controls, which show up here. So you've got these controls at the bottom. I can choose to display them or not. You can choose to have the video mute at the beginning of the video or not. I can change the skin color. Have it autoplay on the page, show a social sharing option, which when you click it, it shows all sorts of social media icons, and then show the title if I want. And then I get to choose what that title is right here. But even cooler than the visual options are some of the calls to actions and tagging options that we have. So you can choose an opt-in form that you created earlier to add into the video frame itself. I know, really exciting. So I can choose a time frame to have this sign up page embedded directly into the video. Also available are captions and buttons. So let's say you're making that perfect pitch and you're ready for people to click buy. You can have a button appear at exactly the moment you need it to appear and disappear when you're done using it. Things get even cooler when you add tagging. You can tag them when they just visit the video page. You can tag them when they trigger a call to action. So earlier I had that caption and button. I can tag them if they click on that button. And then finally, I can tag them at a specific time through the video. So I can really nail down who's viewing at what point. Of course, if you're looking to get sales, it's important to look at the products. So let's, let's take a look at the products area. Inside the product settings, I really wanna focus on the pricing options that we have available. First and foremost is of course the one-time payment. So you can create a one-time payment of whatever price you want. But more creatively is something like the recurring payment. You've got monthly, you've got weekly, every two weeks. And down below, I've enabled something called the initial payment, which would be something like a trial cost. My third price point here was limited number of installments, which means after three monthly payments of $150, totaling $450, they'll have total access. You can actually combine this type of pricing structure with the recurring payment structure in the fourth one called recurrent installment, a limited or a recurring payment. So like $150 a month for three months and then repeat that every year. I mean, really the benefit to all of these options is that it allows you to easily identify the payment methods that best convert your prospects into customers. Beyond the pricing, we have plenty of checkout page templates available. Of course, as a fan of Kartra, I'm not gonna need any of this. I'm just gonna choose Kartra hosted checkout page. And that's because inside the Kartra page builder, you can click and drag a checkout form right there. And the options don't stop at just how the checkout page looks, but how it works too. So check out our Express Checkout. This is one of the cooler features. You can actually turn on one-click confirmation, which means if someone has filled out their information before for one of your previous products, all of their billing details will be kept in the background and they can just click the pay now button. You can also tag cart abandonment. Let's say that they left the cart after filling out some of their information, you can tag them as having started to purchase but not finishing their purchase and you can follow up and find out why they didn't complete their purchase. Even cooler are the bump offers that we have available. A bump offer connects to another product and shows up underneath your checkout page with a little toggle so that they can add your other product into their cart in one purchase. Like any good marketing platform, there's affiliate programs involved. I'm gonna activate an affiliate program for this product. And let's say I want a 40% commission for this basic tier, but you know what? I'm gonna create sort of a, a VIP tier for some special affiliates, specific affiliates, and they get 60% and my product is created. And now that I've got my product, I'm gonna add a coupon for that product. Let's create a new coupon here for 20% off. And we'll make that a percentage. I'm gonna choose the product funnel. I'm gonna say for price point two, and we can apply it to a specific payment. I'm gonna say all payments, and I'm gonna expire it after 100 sales. So this coupon can only be used 100 times. 
and then I can set it to be used only for specific affiliates instead of available to anyone, but I'm gonna choose available to everyone. Now in my case, my product is a membership. So I'm gonna to go to the memberships area and show you around how to build a membership. Memberships are really easy to build because they're so visual. Just like everything else, it's drag and drop. You've got headlines and text. You can create little separations, images, audio players and downloads, links, reminders and checklists, important boxes and buttons to other pages and other membership posts. And it's all click and drag. So let me create a new category just to show you how this works. And you know what? I need to see a little bit more. So I'm going to minimize this sidebar. I'm going to drag in a new post. For this post, I'd like it mainly to be about the video. So I'm going to do a little headline here. Maybe some introductory text. And then I can click and drag a video directly into the page. And I'm not going to bother with these three because I know I've already got a video uploaded to Kartra. Now I've got a few posts. I've got a couple of categories. I'm ready to share this with the world. So when I click save and exit, I'm given the option to navigate through some of these template options. So all of these different types are available. We've got some that have the logo up on top with some menus that drop down like this. We've got a sidebar, maybe some information about myself. This one shifts the information about me over to the right hand side. This one on the far end has a sidebar instead of a top menu bar. In this case, I think I like this one, but I want it to be in green, maybe red. I think this green over here. Yeah, this is the one that I want to choose. So I'm going to click on save and exit. All of your posts can have comments, but better than this for you and your leads are the membership access levels. You can create up to four different membership levels. So let's say that this is our gold membership. I can give access to all of these posts to the gold membership, but then limit the access to the standard membership. Not just that, but I can drip the content out based on the number of days after sign up. This will keep your members engaged and continuously paying for the subscription without you having to constantly create new content. And it also prevents download and dashers. It prevents people from, from jumping in, getting your content and refunding right away. Using a membership like this will allow you to create a steady stream of recurring income each month. Of course, the more members you get, the more help they're going to need. So we're going to need to look at the My Help Desk area. Inside the Help Desk, you can create support tickets and live chat, but there's also an area for you to add your phone number and your Skype information in case you want a little bit more of that live interaction. The ticket area lets you add canned responses so you can embed some pre-written responses into your account. And the live chat will show up wherever you are in your account if you have it turned on. No matter where I go inside of my account, I'll have this live chat available. So if someone reaches out, I'm not gonna miss that because I'm not in the chat area. Having all of these different channels gives your customers more ways to reach you, which means happier customers. Plus having these canned responses and the wiki pages, which are included in the help desk, it's gonna save you time. Actually, let me show you our wiki, which you can find in the upper right. And it's got a lot of information about how to use Kartra. This was created using Kartra's help desk systems. You've also got analytics for this. And of course, there's analytics everywhere inside your account. You can get a clear view of what's working and what's not, allowing you to continually improve and get more conversions no matter where you are in your account. Now, one of the last things I haven't addressed yet are the calendars. Really easy to use for one-on-one -on -one consulting or live events, classes. Uh, this is the front end of the calendar. This is what your leads might see. So they'll come in here. They'll click on a time frame, choose that section, fill out their information, and click Submit. Now, once they've submitted their information, I can see I've got a pending approval here under my agenda. And I've got a little notification icon for my calendars. And I can approve this consultation session. But in the end, what you really want for ease of use is something to be done for you. So I'm going to show you the My Campaigns area, and more specifically, done for you. A campaign is a pre-packaged marketing plan that contains landing pages, checkout pages, an email sequence with copy, all those things that have been packaged up for you to use. 
And if you click to deploy one of these campaigns, all of those assets and the connections between them will be imported directly to your account. So within a few seconds, you can deploy a pre-made marketing strategy by an expert like Andy Jenkins or Frank Kern who built these campaigns. And if these aren't enough for you, you can go to the marketplace where other Kartra users are selling their campaigns to you. So you can actually get one of these campaigns made by another Kartra user and import it into your account. And at the end of the day, all of these features working together means better conversions and more sales. All right, let me just go back to the main dashboard and that's our tour. I hope you enjoyed this walk around the Kartra platform. If you wanna get your own account, sign up for a trial and see if you like it.